Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I have five tips for you that will make your riding and filming with a GoPro much easier, more productive and with less headaches. Let's start. First of all, on so many GoPro 10 reviews uh, which I've seen, uh, people are focusing a lot on the settings, on the camera and so on, uh, on setting up the photo modes and the camera modes, which I think is also very important. But um, actually what you need since the beginning, especially if you're doing a motovlog, you need to know certain things which are actually more important than the settings before the settings you you have to know what kind of microphone you can use how long does the battery will last uh, you how how much can you rely on the battery during the road so one of the main reasons i bought this camera is for one of its features which uh, actually conducted me to to make the purchase this feature is uh, charging the battery while the camera is filming or charging the battery with the external battery pack what this camera can actually do better than that is uh, running without the battery with an external battery pack which means that uh, you can use an external battery pack to charge your camera and to use your camera while filming which i think it's a quite an amazing thing to do First of all, the main source of heat which uh, comes to this camera is from the battery. The battery is uh, quite quite warm and we will get uh, even hot during, uh, during usage. So actually by doing that we've eliminated one of the main sources of heat from the camera which is the battery. So uh, running the camera with a battery pack it's uh it's actually an unbelievable thing to do and therefore i love it because i have this uh, big battery pack uh, in my pocket uh i don't have to stop each time each 30 minutes one hour whatever uh, the battery will last to stop and replace the battery and then recharge it again i lose quite a lot of time and uh, when you're uh, traveling when you are traveling we want you want to film stuff you want to make uh, reviews and so on you lose quite a lot of time changing the battery so with this battery pack now as we speak the camera has no internal battery it's running 100 percent on the external battery uh, however there are few small issues but nothing that will prevent you from filming exactly as you want for example you get a, a cold battery warning this cold battery warning happens usually at the beginning at the beginning of uh, of turning off the camera so basically you're turning off the camera and uh, check out this guy man you're turning off the camera and you get this uh, you could get or you could receive on the main screen a cold battery warning but this cold battery warning is just a warning and usually at the beginning and not all the time but this will not prevent will not stop you from filming uh, from filming and stop filming and so on so basically you can use the camera uh, with no problem even though you received this uh, cold battery warning another thing which i've discovered by using uh, only the external battery uh, sometimes when you connect the cable from the external battery to the camera and you first want to start the camera for the first time it doesn't start so maybe it, uh, it takes a while until it's pre-charging or something like that it takes a while until the camera actually starts uh, or you have to put back again the cable re-put the cable uh, in on the battery or in the camera and then it starts without no no problems multiple times if you want to do that it's not a problem so uh, the camera will start uh, with no no issues and it works absolutely great so everything else is working perfect like you have the battery over there so it's uh, nothing will stop you from running the camera as much as the power pack it's uh, holding so if you have a big power pack like i have 24,000 uh, milliampers so I think you can use this camera for a couple of hours without any any problem. 
the second tip which I would like to give you it's um, it regards the video format which you are recording in uh, with a GoPro 9 I have a I haven't small issue because sometimes I record and I edit I edit uh, the footage from my phone I had a I had kind of a problem editing the 4k 60 frames per second uh, video for example so uh, I was not able to to edit it properly for my phone so this time I was chosen the um, the both formats in the in the format video recording format uh, menu you have two options the H264 and the other one it's uh, better to choose both in order to be able to run your video and to edit it from older phones or from older systems and it worked uh, absolutely perfect right now we are recording in uh, 4k 60 frames per second and as you see the footage is quite smooth quite nice The next tip it's about the external microphone so uh, for the external microphone uh, may seem easy that okay you have a 3.5 millimeter jack you put it in and everything works fine but it's not like that because uh, there are two types of uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks the one uh, the stereo one the stereo one with uh, two two connectors and the other one with three connectors or four connectors as you want to see it I think there are four connectors so actually what it works for the GoPro is the jack with two connectors so this uh, this taking consideration uh, before you're purchasing online or you think about okay I have the the 3.5 millimeter jack it will work it's not like that not that easy you need this two, this uh, two connector stereo 3.5 millimeter jack. Now let's get back a little bit to the external battery pack and the um, the charging of the GoPro 10. So as I said, you are using a uh, external battery to charge your GoPro 10, but in the same time the cable, the USB cable the USB-C connector that enters in the GoPro as you can see here on my camera it's uh, bending a little bit so I will highly recommend that you use a bended USB-C cable a smaller one and you will have more space to approach your camera to the helmet in the right position otherwise you will bend too much the uh, USB-C cable the USB-C connector which enters in the GoPro 10 and therefore you will also not have uh, um, figure out the right angle of the camera while filming because the camera needs to be a little bit uh, uh, moved uh, in an angle towards the helmet for a better field of view for a better positioning and uh, I highly recommend from the beginning that you're choosing a charging cable, a USB-C charging cable, banded on the side. For the mic cable, it's uh, it's okay if you have the ventilation system like I have it, or it can bend because it's in the lower position. I will highly recommend for the future that GoPro can place this uh, these connectors, this uh, the charging points and everything from the media mode on the sides. I really think uh, will be a nice a nice feature to have and not to worry that the cables will be uh, will be smashed or crushed <laughs> to the helmet. Regarding the cold battery warning which you receive on the uh, GoPro 10 screen You don't have to worry because uh, okay, you cannot access the screen at the beginning But as soon as you press to record as soon as you press the record button You will be able 
to to uh, record without any issues without any problem and this error message with the um, uh, cold battery warning will disappear and it will not appear the next time if you leave your camera open so if your camera stays open after this message you will not receive it now let's resume for a little bit the five tips which I gave you today first one external battery no internal battery the camera can record perfectly and can work perfectly fine with an external battery no need an external battery to heat up the camera you can eliminate the first heating source which is the internal battery the second one it's the proper jack the proper uh, external microphone jack the 3.5 millimeter the third one it's the uh, video format in which you are recording then comes the bended USB-C cable the charging cable which enters in the GoPro 10 is better to be uh, curved the last one it's about the it's about the message the error message which you get on the screen the cold battery warning the camera still works even if you have this uh, cold battery warning message so I really think it was uh, quite a good investment considering this uh, this features which the GoPro 10 can offer at this point I have an extra bonus which I would like to give you it's uh, about the sound of the beep it's about the sound of the camera I highly recommend that you put this sound uh, as high as possible because uh, for example now we are in the city traffic and uh, it's better to hear the sound when the camera is turned on and off so uh, a higher sound it's much better I can hear it perfectly also on the highway you can imagine the the noise over there so putting as much so putting as high as possible this uh, beep sound will help you know when the camera is turned on and off during the time which I have this external battery connected to the GoPro 10 I have not one single issue the camera was uh, always turned on not filming all the time but turned on for uh, for actually a couple of hours and uh, it didn't stop at all it didn't have any problems I'm not really sure that keeping the external battery connected all the time uh, to the GoPro will affect somehow the GoPro with when is not filming when it's filming we can say that uh, it consumes uh, the resources of the battery and so on but uh, for example if the camera it's uh, turn turn the, the LCD screen it's uh, turned uh, off but the camera it's on this I don't know exactly how it will affect the um, the camera whatsoever maybe you have some informations regarding that topic I cannot stop myself uh, giving you another tip I just noticed that it's not so convenient uh, pressing this uh, turn on button of record button uh, I think you have to also keep the the camera stable and you have to really put some uh, put some uh, um, pressure to this button so I think uh, either a voice command will be great so a voice command for the GoPro just to enable it because it has I think it's very useful or a remote control I know that this is also a possibility uh, either both uh, are just great uh, great options thank you thank you very much uh, I, I think that these are great options uh, because when you're pressing this button this uh, this button you have to put the pressure on you have to keep the camera stable so either uh, voice control or a remote control will do much better than that so far I'm quite glad that I made this purchase and I will keep you updated about how the camera works on the future projects I really hope that these small tips uh, will give you a good start on uh, filming with a GoPro 10 and hopefully you you can write in a comment section 
what else do you think as a first touch as a first thing which you have to keep in mind when you're buying the gopro 10 what do you think uh, something else has to be uh, has to be said please leave your comments in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye